Day 12, this is the last of the Moon Sinistry Overlay series, Moon in the 5th house, and then we're going to start with Mars, so I'm excited, it's day 12, it's feeling like 12 days of Christmas, it's, it's giving a holiday season, okay, and Moon in the 5th house is perfect to talk about in the energy of 12-12. Moon in the 5th house, they are very adventurous, they stimulate each other to do things, to take risks that in their own lives may not take. This one, it's almost like the other person feels sometimes like a groupie in your life hanging out with you. Mostly because you guys do tend to go out a lot together. There's not a lot of hanging out at home. And also, it's like, am I just your going out buddy or do you actually like me? <laughs> I feel like people expect the fifth house to always feel like very flirty, fun, playful, and it is. But it's also does give situationship vibes <laughs> where it's like when you're together they kind of treat you like they want a relationship like you start to kind of get glimpses of like this is what the relationship could look like and then when you try to get a straight answer out of them it's like oh uh, uh, uh. or just like over text they can be like super deadpan this can be the moon person or the house person it depends on the influence of what else is going on in your chart right as to who which person is going to be feeling the effects of being the groupie versus the celebrity but the thing is though this can dilly dally because even though this person can act like they think you're a groupie when they're at home they're thinking like oh my god i hope i impress them i hope they think i'm cool and they start to overthink that so much to the point where them like not responding to your text or acting super cool and nonchalant maybe one word responses is them just not wanted, wanting to embarrass themselves because they love you so much and they'd want this connection to work I think with the moon and the fifth house, the fifth house can be very emotional you know people say it's very childlike but think of how a child just like freely shares their emotions and it kind of sometimes cuts you to the core the moon is already like very soft and shy and just wants to be liked but sometimes they'd rather keep to themselves and not let anyone really truly in than run the risk of showing themselves and then being rejected a lot of times these people can be so so loving to each other like sometimes this gives the opposite effect too where sometimes it's over text or over social media that you guys are actually super loving to each other and like giving all the compliments but in person it then is kind of weird and it's like you guys almost are ashamed that you guys have said some of the things that you've said to each other and in person it's like oh my gosh I'm so actually an awkward person I don't know how to translate it so then you guys are just standing there like yeah so <laughs> the key with this one is just like as much as you want to be liked by that person you have to constantly remember that it's not going to be the end all be all if they don't feel like you have value in their life that doesn't speak anything about your self-worth or your value and despite them not seeing it it truly is their loss but for the most part this is i feel like just a very fun connection and if you guys can just relax and try not to take it so seriously you can reap a lot more of the positive um attributes of this overlay but yeah that's all i have to say about the fifth house we're done with the moon sinistry overlay series i just love this and i love that you guys are here with me thanks for checking on and let's just continue talking about astrology okay yeah um catch you at the next one <laughs>